Hi, my name is Steele, the National Sales Manager at Kilgore International. Coming from you inside our training center, and today we're going to show you how to operate the AM3 system. And I'm going to show you all the components that come in your AM3 system. So first thing, we have the FRP head. And then you have the aluminum cheeks that may or may not come attached on. If they don't come attached on, super easy to do. Phillips screwdriver, 10 seconds later, one screw, one screw, you're all installed, ready to go. So this will kind of simulate what it looks like for the cheek structure. The next thing that's gonna come is gonna be your D95 200 series model with the pink silicone tissue. All 32 teeth. And then you'll have the hole right here so you can slide it right over the mount when you're ready. And uh, the next part will be your mount. So your mount is not included on the website. So you can check out the link below for all of our mounting options and review that video we did uh, a while back. But this one right here for this example is gonna be your CBM3A. What I love about this one, goes on the glide bar for dental chair, also goes on to a bench top as well. So it gives you a lot of versatility. Um, you, know, you can switch over to a chair, to a tabletop, or you know, a, a desk at home, anything you wanna use. But it's very easy to use. You have a nice ergonomic handle. And then you have a DP lock here, we'll show you in a little bit, that hold that jaw open for you. All right, now for the installation part. Super easy to do. Right here we have an ADAC dental chair, and any dental chair will work as long as the headrest slides up, and you have this flat metal glide bar for that CBM3A mount. So we're gonna grab our mount first, and we're gonna go ahead and attach it. Now, you'll see it has a little bit of an opening back here. You wanna adjust this wheel back here to give a little bit of a slight of a clearance. And once we have that clearance, we're gonna go ahead and slide it over. Now we're locked on. I'm going to take that black adjusting knob and tighten it back down so we're flush against the glide bar of the dental chair. You have this handle here. I'm going to give us a little bit of clearance away from the chair. And now we can put on our type on. Now remember, we have this circular portion here. That's where you slide over the pole mount. You want to make sure that wing nut, which is right here, is backed up enough where we have clearance of that hole. We'll go ahead and place it over here. Now I'm just going to put it down farther than you'd want it to, just to make room for the uh, FRP head and the aluminum cheeks here. Now, same thing, you're gonna have this hole here. We need to back out that wing screw so that hole has clearance. Now, once we have that, you'll also notice, it's gonna be hard to see on video, but there is a stopper plate in there. So when we go ahead and we place this onto the mount, you'll hear that noise that's hitting that stopper plate. And once you hit that, You've gone down far enough. You want to go ahead and tighten that wing nut down to the flat portion of the bar. And then once you have that, you slide the model up to now we're flush with that FRP head. And again, you're going to tighten that wing nut down on the flat portion of the bar. Next thing you want to do, and I'll turn, the cam turn this towards the camera so you can see this DP lock, you want to actually slide that up let the jaw fall, let the DP lock fall, and we're just gonna tighten that down to the flat portion of the bar. And then once you have that set, the jaw is locked open, you put your model right up against the headrest, tighten it down, and then they're all set to function. We're gonna discuss the function of the AM3 system. So earlier we talked about tightening up these wing nuts onto the back of the flat portion of the bar. So we want to get a close-up angle so you can see what we're talking about. You have the wing nut here to the FRP head, the one of the model, and then the adjusting knob on the DP lock. And you can see this flat portion, there's only one part of that on this CBM mount. The flat portion of the bar here, they're all tightened on there securely. So go ahead and tighten those down. Once they're fixed on, now we're ready to move on to the next portion. So now we're going to talk about how the CBM 3A functions. You'll be able to see this in the link that we listed previously for our mounting options video and how all of our mounting options function. For this one here, you just give a slight quarter turn, and then now you can adjust any which way. So you can do, you know, chin up or down, you can do side to side movement. And once you have the correct position, all you have to do is give another slight quarter turn in the opposite direction, and then we're engaged and ready to go. So the DP lock functions very easily. And this position here is just keeping the jaw locked open so it doesn't shift on you when you're working on the model. Now, when you want to go ahead and check occlusion, for example, all you need to do is pull slightly down and over, check occlusion, 
And when you're ready to work again, go ahead, let it sit. Just take your thumb, press it down. Thank you for checking out our AN3 system. Hopefully you see the functionality is great for at home use or in clinic. And don't forget to check out our mounting options video below so you can choose the mount that best fits your needs. And we'll see you next time.